How's it going guys? It's me Simon and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get the boomerang and also complete the trading sequence quest in Link's Awakening. The first item we need is the Yoshi doll located in Maid Village, the trendy game store. You got to play the crane machine and then grab yourself a Yoshi. Then head north up in Maid Village to Mamasha's house, it's the only house with two doors, and trade her the Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Once you have the ribbon, head down to Chow Chow's doghouse located in the middle area of Maid Village. Give her the ribbon and you will be rewarded with the dog food. And for our next trade, head down to Toronto Shore to sail the alligator's house just south of Maid Village. Give him the dog food and you watch him munch it all up. And in return, we will be rewarded with some bananas. And for the fifth trade, head to Candlelit Castle. You see Kiki the monkey on the right hand side. If you give her the bananas, she'll build you a bridge to get into the castle, but also give you a stick. Now we're armed with the stick, head to the northeastern corner of Yukuku Priory, where we find Tarin waiting by a beehive. He asks to borrow your stick, and then he makes a bad decision. Never poke a beehive. But his misfortune is our fortune because now we can pick up the honeycomb and head on to the next trade. With the honeycomb, we're gonna to head to Animal Village to Chef Bear's house. He's trying to cook something, but he's running low on honeycomb. He offers to trade us a pineapple for honeycomb, and I think we've got the better part of the deal here. Next, we're gonna to head to Tao Tao Mountain Range, where we find Papao on the upper levels. He got lost, and now he's starving. So we offer him the pineapple, to feed his hunger and in return he will give us the hibiscus with the hibiscus head to animal village and to christine's house we give her the hibiscus to satisfy her love for flowers and she will give us the goat's letter, which we will need to deliver to Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright is located north of the mysterious forest, right at the top of the map. We give him the goat's letter and inside there's a special photograph, which turns out to be Peach. Who knows why? And for our troubles, he will give us a broom. So with the broom, we head back to May Village and talk to Grandma Yahoo. We give her the broom and she can sweep away. In return, we get the fishing hook. Now with the fishing hook, we're gonna head to Martha's Bay where Catfish Moor is and the mermaid. We're gonna take this side path here and we're gonna go under the bridge and dive under, which will take us to this other part where we can see a fisherman in a boat of course, a fisherman's going to want the fishing hook. We hand over the fishing hook and we will get whatever he catches. Oh, he's got one. And it must be our lucky day. We just got the necklace. So with the necklace, we're going to head back to the mermaid and give the mermaid a necklace. And in return, she's going to give us one of her scales. And with the scale, we're going to head back onto the land to the right hand side of where the mermaid is. And just down below, we can hook shot our way across. And you can see Catfish Moor. And there is a statue right opposite it. We're going to put the scale in the statue to complete the statue and then it will reveal a secret staircase underneath. All we got to do is head down there, we we'll meet some enemies, but inside we'll find the magnifying glass. Head down to Tronobo Shore, by where Sailor the Alligator's house is, you notice a crack in the wall, blow it up with a bomb and head inside. we we'll find Goria, who is a merchant who trades items washed up on sea. So I recommend trading the shovel because we don't need it anymore. Hand over the shovel to Goria, 
and he will reward us with the boomerang so guys hopefully this video has helped you out consider subscribing for more links awakening content i'm going to do some pokemon sword and shield in the future i'm simon from log level one gamer until next time peace out